female victims murdered by masked male psychopaths. The foundation of almost every horror movie. Our victim will be a vulnerable young man. Horror from the point of view of the female gaze. I've been a horror fan since I was a toddler, which is probably strange, but I was watching Tales from the Crypt and Nightmare on Elm Street very young. The characters victimized are often always women. So the idea of making this show about young women, making them our leads, making this their story, that was one of the most important elements of the show, flipping that horror gaze. Our storylines are really exciting in terms of female empowerment, getting real and honest about the kind of dangers and pressures that young women face. You don't owe anyone anything. Thanks, Tabby. What I think is really unique about the visual language of the show is that we didn't always use what you would consider to be traditional television coverage. It's really about how I see you and how you see me. These are the things that allow us to get inside the minds of our girls and see the world from their perspective. The way that women are looked at, the way that men are looked at in films, there are certain ways that they're lit. Women always have long lenses, it makes everything absolutely beautiful and stunning in a very subjective kind of way where we use a lot of wide lenses across the board. No one needs to be different because we're all people. We will go into the set and stand next to the cast and say, how are you moving here? Watch how Tabby turns her head to get that flow and that language of not just them being females, but them being individuals. I am so over being intimidated by dudes. Are you on your period <laughs> or something? <laughs> oh! One of the strongest horror tropes is girls in a shower room. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of horror films of men watching young women. We wanted to flip that visually on its gaze as well with a story point. One of the horrors that our girls are facing in the show is assault. For Tabby, a way that she's processing that trauma is by looking at men in a shower. We found that to be a very sort of literal way to flip that on its head for us as viewers to subvert the male gaze and see things through Tabby's eyes. It's been really interesting to play with and to explore. We touch on these darker themes like assault, and I'm glad that we could do it on this show in a way that doesn't feel like it's just made for shock value. It's really great to be on a set that practices what it preaches. Having all of these women behind the scenes, but then also this incredible leading cast of young women. It's a really lovely environment to be a part of. What moves me the most and what makes me feel so honored truly is to be a part of such a diverse team. I think that's so necessary and so important. One day I was on the set, we were shooting the detention scene from the first and second episodes, and I was thinking, wow, there are so many incredible artists working on this. 99% of them are female, and they've got this. What am I even doing here? This new take, this reimagination of things is beautiful because we bring our own perspectives and past to these roles. I hope that little bits of our hearts, of our real hearts, not just our characters, are able to shine through for young women watching.